Hey everybody, it's Teresa here from Inspiration Cards and welcome to my very first Stampin' Jammies online card class and the very first class for the month of February. This month, I'm going to be making cards featuring the Quite Curvy stamp set from the January to June mini catalog. And this week, we're going to be making this card here using just jade and some of the designer series paper from the Forever Greenery um, paper pack. So let's so get here's started. our card again. And what you'll need for this week's card. So in the first packet, you should have a nice long piece of just jade cardstock, two pieces of basic white, piece of designer series paper from the Forever Greenery paper pack. You can choose whatever design you like, but I've included this one in your packet. And then uh, there's also a strip of basic white for our phrase. There also should be in your packet some dimensionals and a few rhinestone basic jewels. Okay, so let's get started by folding our Just Jade cardstock in half. I've already scored your piece of paper. So all you have to do is fold along that score line. And if you happen to have a bone folder or even a letter opener, that'll help give you a nice crisp fold in your cardstock. So got that, so I'm just gonna set that aside now. And what we're going to do is start with one of the larger pieces of basic white. And this one is actually going to go on the inside of our piece of Just Jade cardstock. And I always like to add a little something when I'm stamping on the inside of my cards. Still leaves lots of room for whatever you wanna write. So for this one, I'm actually going to add in a little bird. If you want, you can add in something else from, uh, from the stamp set, but this guy's super cute. So I'm just gonna gently tap him on my Just Jade ink pad. Get him nice and inked up. And then he's gonna go right down here in the bottom left corner. So there we go. And I'm gonna set him aside to dry. And let's pull in the small piece of basic white. And this is gonna be for our phrase. So this piece fits the made with love just for you phrase really nicely. Again, if you wanna swap out using any of the other phrases from the stamp set, you're more than welcome to do that. And again, just gonna press down just for a couple of seconds, just to get that nice, crisp, clean image. And then I'm gonna set that aside to dry as well. And then our last piece of the basic white, this is where we're going to pull in the design elements for our background. Okay, so what you'll need is you'll need this viney floral stamp and the smallest little leafy branch. So again, all you need to do is just gently tap the stamp onto your Just Jade ink pad. I thought for this first card, just to keep it very monotone, I thought would be really nice. All right, and we're just gonna start with that off to the side. Just like that. So I'm gonna stamp all these ones first. This one's gonna go off to this side here. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to really worry about what it looks like in the center. Because it's going to get covered up by our designer series paper. All right, this guy is gonna go here. There we go. And we're gonna do one more with this stamp here, just down towards the bottom. And 
There we go. And then we have our small little leafy branch to add a little something more around our edges. So you don't wanna put it too close to the center, otherwise it'll end up just disappearing behind our DSP. And we'll do one more, just kind of off to the side here like that. There we go. All right, so we're done with our ink pad. So I'm going to quickly give that a flip close so I don't accidentally end up with my hand in the ink pad. And I'm gonna grab my other pieces that we've stamped already. And all we're gonna do is just assemble all the pieces now that we've got them. So to start, I'm going to grab our piece with our little bird or whatever you decided to, to stamp for the inside of our card. So I'm using my stamp and seal just to put a little bit on the back go. With the stamp and seal, you don't need a lot, so I'm just putting a little bit in the corners, and I always like to add a little something in the center. And this is going to go just right in the center. Get a nice even frame as best as you can, and just give that a little rub to get that sealed. All right, and now we have our other stamped piece, which should be dry by now. Fortunately, it doesn't take too long for the ink to dry from our ink pads. And again, just a little bit of stamp and seal or whatever is kind of your go-to adhesive when you're doing this kind of stuff. And again, just gonna rub it around the edges we go and then we have our piece of designer series paper and our phrase so to attach this to our piece of pattern paper I'm just going to put a little bit of stamp and seal in the center there and try and center that as best I can anyways there we go all right and now this is where we're going to need those rhinestone basic jewels that I gave you. So I'm gonna grab the spatula end of my take your pick tool, and I'm just gonna grab a couple of the, the medium size ones. There we go. And just gonna, on either end of our phrase, just to give a little bit of bling, a little bit of something extra for our cards. There we go. And that's gonna go on the other side there, just like that. Okay, and to attach this to our card front, that's where our dimensionals are gonna come in. There we go. So just in the corners usually is enough. Sometimes I'd like to add a little bit something in the center, but this is a rather small piece, so I think we'll be okay with just the four. There we go. And that's just gonna get centered in the middle of our stamped images. And there we go. There is our first card using the quite curvy stamp set. Now, before we wrap up for today, I am gonna show you one other card that I used with the Quite Curvy stamp set. So this one here, I used a combination of the stamps and the dies together. So in this case, I used one of the curved phrases along with our bird friend, and I actually stamped and then used the dies to cut out the vines. And then another one of the dies from this bundle gave this nice little um, ornate flourish on top and actually cut the piece of basic white cardstock in half. 
I also added a few of the In Good Taste wooden elements to this card as well, just to give it a little something extra. Thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed making the card this week and hopefully I'll see you next week. If you want to get in on this month's cards featuring the quite curvy stamp set, or if you want to jump on board for next month where I'll be featuring the sweet ice cream stamp set, then you'll want to check out my blog at inspirationcards.com or send me an email at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.